Like how you take your car and bikes for regular servicing, a plane also requires regular maintenance. You take your car and bike to a garage, the plane comes to a hangar which is operated by an MRO. Right now I'm standing at AAR Indamar's Nagpur MRO facility and we have with us right now Mr. Rajiv Gupta, the CEO of AAR Indamar MRO and he will tell us what exactly happens at an MRO, what are the procedures, what are the costs involved and what is the time that goes into maintaining an aircraft. Sir, welcome to the show. Thank you. Tell us what happens at an well, MRO. You defined it very rightly. It is a, a aircraft's mechanic garage. Uh, I'm a mechanic, like you have mechanics. And uh, this is a garage, what we call a hangar. Maintenance is split into various parts. Like you put petrol in the car and fill the air. We check the checks on daily aircraft. A check is weekly and monthly. B check is yearly. C check is when it comes out of three years. Either 12,000 flight hours, 12,000 hours old, or three years old. Whichever comes first. That's how the aircraft comes in here. So this aircraft has come first time. There are two major things which are done here. One is that we will look at the entire fuselage, the body of the aircraft. We have a lot of damage in the airport. We have a bag and a plane is coming out. The first thing which we review here is that the aircraft should be structurally sound. That means we will go through this aircraft by tooth and comb literally by our lens to see there should be no dent. Now, if there is a dent, then whether it can be repaired or we have to replace that much skin. So, wo portion card do, maya portion lagao, or then keep it. The second thing check which we do is the interior checks. Interior checks is where jo aap aircraft ke andar jate hain, aapne hat track mein, aapna bag dala, aapne jor se gusheda, jor se dhakka maara, hindi steady ho jati hai, पेंट फोड़ जाता है, विनाइल कट जाता है, कापिट्स पे लोग चुइंगम गिर देते हैं, पैर मारा चिपक जाती है, तेल गिरता है, अचारों लोग अचार लेके आते हैं, so the entire interior, whether it is the seat cover, the seat cushion, the table in which you are going to be eating, आपने जोर लगाया वो टेडी हो गई, तो उस पे आप फूड फूड रखेंगे जो गिर जाएगा so all that forms a part of the interior. Bathroom gande hai, bathroom mein cleanly water nahi aara hai. It starts smelling. Galleys mein wohi haal hai. Galley hai, us mein garam paani nahi aara hai, yaan zyada garam paani aara hai. Thanda paani block ho raha hai. So all that is what we do in the interior of the aircraft. Now this is when we start the first time when the plane comes here, we do that part of it. What is the maintenance, the heavy maintenance of this aircraft? It will be three years later and then it will be three years later. Correct. So, when you see the flaps and flaps that these people are doing, all moving parts, which can be hit on the plane, they can be hit on a motor, which we call an actuator motor. Now, you have to see that today is the motor is okay or bad. And it will not be okay for three years. So if there is any repair to be done, hmm. we do it now. If it is to be replaced, we replace it now. Then we come down to the landing gear. Now these are on the ground. When the plane takes off, they go up into the body of the aircraft. The body seals shut and the aerodynamic comes in and the plane gains speed. Yeah. Now, everything comes in. Ball bearing hote hai, wheels ke andar, brakes hoti hai. Heating नहीं हो because it's landing at 200 kilometers an hour. It has to stop in a little distance. Heating elements नहीं हो, brakes wear out नहीं हो. All that is what we check here. उसके बाद इस डिवाइनिक्स, which is the cockpit. This whole process for the first time when it comes to us after three years being new takes about five days. And these five days is split into two parts: 12 hour of daytime and 12 hour of night time. हमारे लिए बहुत क्लियर है कि पांच दिन के लिए हवाई जहाज आया, एक रात कैनॉट बी हेयर सिक्स डे। नो एयरलाइन विल कीप दी एयरक्राफ्ट इन ग्राउंड फॉर वन एक्स्ट्रा डे। 
huge loss of revenue. Yeah. LA, you have to pay the rental of the aircraft, yeah. salaries of the pilots yeah. who are not going to fly them, and you will lose averagely eight flights a day, 200 passengers a flight, 4,000 rupees average ticket. Yeah. So calculate the revenue what you lose. Yeah. So nothing can time stay. Is, time is, time is, money. is money. Time is money. That is the main thing. The major chunk is also the engine maintenance. So tell us something about that. See, like I said, the, the aircraft is split into six parts. Uh, it's the airframe maintenance, the body, jo hai. Huh. it's the interior, your hmm. carpet, your hmm. seat, your table, your windows, your yeah. bathrooms. Yeah. These are the two checks which we are doing currently in our facility. Okay. Now the checks which we are not doing in our facility but which should be done in any MRO, one is the engine. It is the most expensive thing yeah. in the aircraft. Unfortunately in India, there is no capability. Why is that sir? Uh, I can tell you for myself, uh, commercially it is not viable right now. Okay. The cost of setting up an engine shop or an engine repair facility will cost me about 150 million dollars. Okay. So that's an expensive thing. It breaks even only if I get 100 engines every year of one type. Okay. I say the engine fan. <laughs> Ainge, uh. Indigo, when it gets to a thousand aircraft yeah. or Tata's when they get to a thousand aircraft, yeah. They will that have a commonality yeah. and it will happen, it but will right happen. now it's not there. Yeah. The engines go overseas. Over there. Next thing which is there is the landing gear. Right now somehow it is developed like this in the world that all the landing gears are in the United States. They are the ones who manufacture them, okay. they are the ones who are maintaining them. Yeah. They have monopoly. Bana okay. But that is something which we are looking at because right now there are enough aircraft in India mm. for the engine shops to be made in India. So we are looking at it in 2024, we will most probably set up an engine shop. The other three major components to an aircraft which require maintenance, mm. it's a thrust reverse, reverser, thrust reverser is nothing else but a brake. Mm. If you put a brake on your car, the car is stopped. When you put a brake on your car, you have to put a brake on the car. And that's how the plane stops. That's why when the aircraft lands, you hear that very high noise. Mm. Like that's the air being Correct. pulled in and pulled back. So that is a thrust reversal, so we will do that repairs. Then we will do the fuel cell repairs, ki jab fuel engine mein ja hai. Mm -hmm. that's called nacelle repair. Mm -hmm. And the last is the radom, which can be weather radar, if there is a dent, it will not see anything. The pilot wants to know what is 100 kilometers aage kya weather. Hai. Mm -hmm. So that is in the nose of the aircraft. And as the nose is the first part which comes in, yeah. so bird lagi, mm -hmm. aapko koi keda laga, ya kuch bhi laga, it damages, damages that part. So that needs to be repaired. Correct. So these are the three things which we intend doing this year in 2024 in our facility in India. What are the costs involved in servicing a plane? Okay. If you look at the what we do here, that's about 100,000 for the lowest check, 100,000 okay. dollars. So 100,000 dollars se leke 400,000 dollars tak aapka frame check chal raha. So aapka C1 three saal baad aaya, C5 12 साल बाद सेम चेक है पहली बार आपने 5 दिन लिए दूसरी बार आपने 9 दिन लिए काम वही है सिर्फ ये ज्यादा घिस गया आप वो तो नया था यहां पे ये घिस गया तो उस तरीके से ये टाइम फ्रेम चलते हैं तो कॉस्ट विल वेरी एनीथिंग बिटवीन फॉर अ फ्रेम चेक बिटवीन 100000 टू 400000 अ लैंडिंग गियर कॉस्ट विल वेरी अबाउट 250000 डॉलर्स थ्रस्ट रिवर्सर्स एंड ऑल द स्टफ फॉर टुगेदर इज अनदर 100000 एंड नाउ द इंजन नथिंग लेस देन अ मिलियन a million dollars. Million dollars per engine. Per engine. Per the sal mein aata. Acha. Sir, so hmm. what are the advantages then? Cost advantages? I'm sure then India mein agar aisa ho raha hai, to it is much cheaper than what one would spend in a foreign MRO. For see, MRO cost is two parts. One is labor component. One is material component. Hmm. Material component is the same, whether I'm buying it or a guy in America is buying hmm. it. Except freight. Yeah. America is just. 400 kilometers of freight minus 4,000 kilometers of freight. Cost of the component is the same. Their labor rates, because of their economies, are approximately $80 per man hour. My cost will be about $35 an hour. Okay. So that is the advantage. That is the advantage. But no advantage. The advantage is that the airline wants its aircraft back in the air ASAP. So if I if we send it to a foreign country, एक दिन जाने में, एक दिन आने में, तो दो दिन तो उसके बर्बाद हो गए, चार दिन का चेक या पांच दिन का चेक, 
तो उसने एक हफ्ते के लिए हवाई जहाज छोड़ दिया हमारे यहाँ क्या होता है रात को प्लेन आता है चौथे दिन रात को हम वापस चलते हैं तो ये सेव्स थ्री डेज तो ही इज दैट्स व्हाट इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग कॉस्ट यस वी आर अप्रोक्सीमेटली ट्वेंटी परसेंट ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट चीपर देन द वेस्टर्न वर्ल्ड बिकॉज आर कॉस्ट आर लोअर बट मटेरियल कॉस्ट इज द सेम बट जो एयरलाइन को बेनिफिट है दैट इज द क्विक टर्न अराउंड ऑफ द एयरक्राफ्ट सो दैट्स द मेन थिंग So yes. I suppose uh, everybody looks at that and everybody looks right. at that. The MRO industry is now picking up pace in India, and as the aviation minister said, uh, he wants India to become the aviation uh, service center of the world. Uh, Mr. Gupta, uh, explain to us what happens in an MRO. We hope you got some idea of what happens to a plane when it comes for servicing at an at a hangar in an MRO. Thank you very much for watching.